While many dream of becoming singers, dancers or actors, some possess unique talents that don't neatly fit into those conventional categories. Each individual is bestowed with diverse traits, characteristics, interests and skills. One contestant on Canada's Got Talent Season 2 really showed that not all talents fit in predefined boxes. Geneviève Conté produced astonishing sounds that may be hard to believe are human-made. Her performance on Canada's Got Talent not only left the judges and audience in awe, but also earned her the coveted golden buzzer. Join us as we tell you everything about Geneviève Conté from Canada's Got Talent. Since childhood, Geneviève has been immersed in the world of performance, drawing inspiration from a diverse array of idols, such as Simard Kids, Celine Dion, Dominique Michel, The Looney Tunes, and many more. Her journey into the spotlight began at the tender age of four, when she stepped onto the stage for the first time. From an early age, Geneviève was captivated and inspired by the talent of actor-humorist and salmon Michael Winslow, famous for Police Academy. Under his influence, she started imitating a wide range of sounds, from the creaking of a door to the bottle of a window cleaner, and even the sound effects of her favorite Atari video game, Asteroids. As she continued to grow, jean Vier found inspiration in the works of the Quebec comedy group Rocket Bells Orioles and the versatile comedian and singer Weird Al Yankovic. These influences sparked her creativity, leading her to write her own parodies and ultimately transforming her childhood dream into a lifelong vocation. Expressing her motivation, jean Viev stated in an interview that she does her act to make people happy. jean Viev possesses a unique gift for taking her audience on a captivating journey deep into her own universe. Despite her petite stature, she wields an awe-inspiring vocal power that spans seven octaves. This extraordinary ability allows her to mimic not only the voices of her audience's favorite stars, but also a staggering variety of nearly 300 different voices and sounds. Her talent for imitating sound sets her apart and defines her uniqueness in the world of performance. Whether recreating the familiar tones of beloved celebrities or producing an array of diverse sounds, jean Viev's repertoire showcases her unparalleled skill. jean Viev became a single mother in her early 20s. In the year 1998, she bravely presented herself and her baby at the Action Intervention Jeunesse Contest held at the Salle André Mathieu in Laval. In a moment that would define her path, she not only showcased her comedic prowess, but also lifted the spirits of the audience. With a heartwarming imitation and parody of Celine Dion, jean Viev not only captured the attention, but also won the hearts of esteemed judges Francois Massicot, Maxim Roy, Jean Aroldi, and Luc de la Rochelaire. Her performance resonated so profoundly that she not only secured the first prize in the comedy category, but also claimed nearly all the awards presented that evening. In 2010, jean Viev went viral on YouTube for her video parodies of notable figures like Lady Gaga, Lisa Leblanc, and Gerald Tremblay. Fueled by the fame she garnered on YouTube, jean Viev made a bold decision to leave a waitressing job behind and pursue a full-fledged career in the entertainment industry. Since then, her star has continued to rise, and she's graced the stage alongside renowned artists such as Mike Ward, Kathy Gauthier, France de Moore, Marjo, Alex Perron, and many more. Her presence at the prestigious Just For Last Festival, particularly in productions by Jean Landre, such as Le Fura and Le Show 100% Imitable, highlights the recognition of her comedic prowess. Additionally, she'd been a recurring performer in the humor of Vogel Galas at the Théâtre Saint-Denis. She is also open for esteemed figures like Mario Tessier, Guy Nansel, Eric Lapointe, and Mesmer. jean Viev also toured in Quebec with a one-woman show, Le Inimitable. In the show, she invited the audience into the fascinating world of her versatile vocal skills. With seamless transitions, she effortlessly navigated through a spectrum of auditory experiences. Throughout the performance, she skillfully crafted animal sounds, replicated movie effects, captured ambient tones, and even mimicked various instruments. jean Viem's vocal prowess extended to such an impressive range, where she artfully reproduced the intricate sounds of helicopters and unleashed the powerful screams reminiscent of a T-Rex. The breadth and depth of her vocal abilities created a truly immersive and engaging experience for her audience. 
Those who attended the shows were completely astounded by her unique talent. They likened her to a rare combination of Celine Dion's commanding vocal skills, renowned for their emotional depth and power, and Quentin Tarantino's creative genius, known for pushing the boundaries of artistic expression. Jean Viev's one-woman show was not merely a performance, it was an exploration of extreme auditory artistry. When Jean Viev Cotet stepped onto the stage for her audition in Canada's Got Talent Season 2, a wave of curiosity swept through the room. When questioned about her talent, she confidently declared herself a professional noisemaker, a statement met with initial skepticism from the judges. However, as soon as she commenced a performance, any doubts were swiftly dispelled. Jean Viev mesmerized the audience by producing noises that, until that moment, seemed exclusive to the natural world. Whether by mimicking various animal sounds or crafting a complete soundtrack, she left everyone in awe. As she concluded her act, the judges, still somewhat in a daze, offered the comments. Notably, Howie Mandel, the seasoned judge, expressed the most profound admiration. Howie told Jean Viev that it always bothered him that he had to leave Canada to pursue his dream. He decided to be a judge on the show because he wanted to find a talent in Canada that he hadn't seen anywhere else. To emphasize the uniqueness he witnessed, Howie wasted no time in pressing the golden buzzer for Jean Viev, propelling her straight to the semi finals. It was a moment of validation and recognition for the extraordinary talent that Jean Viev brought to Canada's Got Talent stage. For a grand finale, Jean Viev initially immersed us in a swamp ambience, surrounded by the croaks of frogs and the rustling of small nocturnal creatures. However, the serenity was abruptly shattered by the blaring of a siren, signaling an unsettling turn of events. Suddenly, the tranquil night air transformed into a cacophony of monstrous sounds, thrusting us into a nightmarish scene reminiscent of Jurassic Park. The stage, adorned like a dense forest, served as the backdrop, while Jean Viev, clad in a dark green dress, assumed the role of the Jungle Queen. Even after giving such a breathtaking performance, Jean Viev wasn't the one to take the winner's title. After gracing the stage of Canada's Got Talent, Jean Viev Cote was invited to participate in France's Got Talent. She happily participated in France's Got Talent Season 18, where her extraordinary skills once again earned her accolades. This time, host Corinne Le Marchand awarded her a golden buzzer, signifying an exceptional performance. Beyond her success on talent shows, Jean Viev has established herself as a versatile artist, with notable appearances in various productions. She's appeared in Sweeping Forward, Appearances, and Les Seen Fortuits. These ventures showcase her ability to contribute not only as a professional noisemaker, but also as a performer in the world of film and television. If you thought all Jean Viev's talents revolved around stage and performing, then think again. In addition to her 300 voices, singing, acting, and stand-up comedy, she's also an author. Her literary contribution is evident in the form of a book titled Pensezi du Foie, which means Think Twice in English. In the book, she skillfully utilized humor as a narrative tool to vividly depict the potential risks associated with cosmetic surgery. In fact, the book is an exaggerated retelling of a personal cosmetic surgery experience. In her early 30s, Jean Viev decided to get cosmetic surgery. She did that with the thought of getting her young appearance as a 22-year-old cheerleader back. But at the time, she didn't know that cosmetic surgery only lasted for a while and then had to be redone. It is with frankness and a lot of humor that she tells you how her first cosmetic surgery went wonderfully versus her second, which could not have been more catastrophic. Jean Viev may not have won season 2 of Canada's Got Talent, but she did create history by becoming the first professional noisemaker to take the stage in AGT Fantasy League. In a groundbreaking move, she pushed the boundaries of traditional talent representation, showcasing a skill set that is both bizarre and mesmerizing. In episode 3, Jean Viev delivered a captivating performance, showcasing her talent for recreating sounds from the rainforest. Despite receiving a standing ovation from Howie Mandel, she fell short on votes and unfortunately did not secure enough support to progress to the semi finals. This outcome led to her elimination from the competition. Despite her elimination, Jean Viev is elated to experience the well deserved recognition she's earned. Now, people readily recognize her, and fans approach her for pictures, highlighting the growing demand for her unique performances. This newfound visibility showcases the positive impact of her journey, proving that even beyond the competition, Jean Viev has successfully carved a lasting piece of herself into the hearts of audiences.